All of the ideas we've worked with to this point will converge to lead to the research question for our project. The section will help with the process of bringing them together by talking about the form of our question and the structure for the introduction. Research purposes, goals, questions, and hypotheses tend to represent one of three types of claims, frequency, association, or causal. In other words, they tend to represent an interest in describing levels of a variable, understanding how two variables interact, or the degree to which a change in one variable causes a change in another variable. Note that a causal claim requires a manipulated variable. In other words, it requires an experiment. Frequency and association claims are based on measured variables. For our project, I want to focus on a question related to a frequency claim. So if our question will represent a frequency claim, how many variables will it include? Two measured, two manipulated, one measured and one manipulated, one measured? If a question representing a frequency claim includes one measured variable. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that the ideas will converge at our research question. That metaphor is fitting in more ways than one. When we write an APA style introduction, we start with a big idea. We can think about that as the why we care portion. As with the other parts of the paper, we want to make sure any statements of fact in this opening paragraph are supported by citations or other attributions. In our case, we might find that some of the articles we read help provide this big picture. We work from the big picture to the research question, narrowing our focus. Sometimes it isn't nearly as neat as this gradual narrowing, but keeping that idea in mind can help. I think this idea also helps us work with the idea of organizing and synthesizing information. While I don't always find that outlines are a natural way to write, they can be very helpful as we work on the process of compiling knowledge instead of reporting information. To move from the broad idea to the narrow question, we need to think about the meaning. We'll use an outline to help with that process. I don't always find that's an intuitive first start, but in this case, it can be helpful.